Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here back with more Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. So, uh, we're here in the Evil Forest. Uh, we're gonna come up here and... Somewhere around... This guy... There is... Oh no, it's around this guy. Haha. -ha. This guy is a phoenix down. I keep thinking it's this guy, I don't know why. I keep thinking to myself... That's a thing. Alright, so we need to go see if we can find where, you know, everyone is. Where's Garnet, Steiner, Vivi, where are these guys? So we get to see name tag for the Evil Forest. And from this point on is in the game where we can have random encounters. Like so. <laughs> I was actually expecting it to hit a little sooner. Now this is a section where you can grind, overlevel, uh, enemies here uh, are going to be goblins and fangs and is, no, I don't want to flee, I want to steal, because uh, they, I believe everything here has potions that are stealable, and we want potions, however, we're going to take damage in, in doing this, so we want to be a little careful, so, still potion. I don't know how many items each of these enemies have, it doesn't really matter. Also, I forgot to change my equipment, and 20 points of damage, that actually hurts. So we want to be kind of careful, but you know, got a free potion, I'm also going to change my equipment. Now that we've got a level up, we got a goblin card and an echo screen, how fabulous! So. Uh, this is a section where you can power level, do some stuff. Uh, I might, but uh, not terribly concerned about it. We want to uh, equip the Mage Masher because we will still get the credit that we're getting for Flea. And then I think like we can equip the Silk Shirt. It's one difference higher, but we lose the Protect Girls ability. So that that's a thing. And we still got everything equipped that we want, so uh, let's just move on. Because, like I said, you can power level through here, you don't really need to. Especially since uh, we're going to have an interesting fight here. So anyway, what the hell is that? She's in trouble. We walk over, and there's some sort of creature that has garnet in its weird flowery clutches. This is the prison cage, and this fight is basically just a tutorial, because during this we are going to see what the the special attacks for this game happen to be. Instead of a limit break where you get one big attack, you get what's called trance. Your trance meter is the little meter underneath your ATB gauge that currently for Zidane is glowing. They will transform into a different form. Zidane goes full on Super Saiyan in this form. He is a pink Super Saiyan. So like Steiner gets better quality armor and also glows a different color. Uh, Vivi's hat straightens out instead of you know being lopsided. So uh, this fight doesn't really matter what we do. Uh, what we want to do is we have access to his special attacks. The skill becomes Dine. Free energy is actually what we want to do, and we're just going to attack. There's nothing you can steal from this fight, but there will be another fight shortly with one of these things that we can steal from. So we want to uh, keep ready with that. Notice how Steiner's defense considerably higher because he's wearing, you know, actual armor. We just took 30 points of damage from that. That's that's a little ridiculous. So we're going to free energy again, and that actually should do it. So, it'll run away. You know, that's what it does. We're gonna we're gonna fight it again here in a minute, and this fight we can steal from. So we want to be cautious about that. I did go ahead and try this on another save file just to see how difficult it would be because it's you have a little bit of an uncontrolled factor in this one. Vivi's a little disappointed, he was too scared to do anything, and that caused the monster to get away with Garnet. 
but it's obviously just a minion, so it sh she should still be okay for now. But another one comes down and encapsulates Vivi. So this is where the the uncontrolled factor comes in, because we have no control over Vivi. Vivi will get automatic turns in which she will just cast fire on the thing. As as such, we see here, doing 80 points of damage. Now, it took two Dine moves and uh, an attack from uh, Z or from Steiner to kill it. So, it has a little bit of HP. So, hopefully, we can steal from it. It has two items. We just got the broadsword. It also has a leather wrist. So, we want to get that. So we want to make sure we don't attack it until we steal from it. And this is why I went ahead, because I wanted to see how difficult this could be. And obviously it's easier this time than in my last last attempt. It took me dozens of steal attempts. Like, I got it right before uh, Vivi ended up killing it. Uh, and speaking of Vivi, we want to... Uh, throw a potion his way, because I don't remember how much HP he had, but want to make sure he does not die. You don't want them to die, because they will absorb all of their HP through that, so we don't want that to happen. Vivi, Vivi should stay alive during the fight. At least that's my, my take on it, you know? But we got a broadsword, and we got a leather wrist, so that's what we want, and... Vivi now has 43 out of 67, so not the best HP, but not the worst. We should be able to get through this fight without having to heal, because this fire should do it with the damage we've already done. Yep. So, it, it dies because Vivi is a master magician. His black magic skills are unparalleled. Actually, they kind of are. He's a rather powerful black mage. But because he wasn't actually in our party, he does not get any XP. We actually don't get any XP from the fight. We do get 3 AP, which uh, goes toward the uh, advancement of skills. So we do get that. But, again, Vivi doesn't because he wasn't in the party. It was just Sedan and Steiner. Alright, oh, it gets one last attack off before dying using a, uh, a poison powder kind of attack. It seems to be super effective. You know. You know, it's... not as, as though we are, you know, weak to Bulbasaur, but... Let's see. Some monsters in the forest reproduce by planting seeds in other animals. Oh, that sounds creepy, doesn't it? That's... It's like, am I am I gonna die? <laughs> no, you'll find. Just just drink this. It'll it'll kill the seeds. I hope it's grape flavored. No, is it grape flavored? I hate grape flavored. Fine, it's bacon flavored. Yay! Alright, Steiner is also a fair bit under the weather from being, you know, pollinated. Room behind you, go. It's like I gotta go. Save the princess. Now, you're not going to be saving much of anybody at the moment. Yeah, don't don't worry about the princess. We'll we'll figure something out. You just go in there and not not be you for all of about five minutes. Okay, that that'd be wonderful. And he comes in. I just can't stand here. What can their boss accomplish? It smells terrible in the color. This is obviously poison. I can't. It's either poison or yeah. He's like, why not? Yeah, not bad for poison. Because I mean, if we really wanted to kill you, we just wouldn't poison you. Like, monsters are born out of the mist and crawling everywhere. There's nothing out there that we can't handle. All right. So, the mist creates monsters, and this is a continent covered in mist, so there are monsters everywhere. 
So we are basically stuck between a rock and a hard place. And Baku doesn't want to go after the princess because he's very loyal to his 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 men. I can't I can't blame him, but you know, at the same time, we did kind of drag Garnet into this. So the least we could do is go after her. And I love how he eyes the Dane as he leaves. Like, yeah, I can I can see that. Now we have an active we have two active time events. Let's see time to escape. What's what's going on there? Is that Garnet or is that that's Steiner? Steiner's trying to escape so he can go rescue the princess. Fire, fire! Yeah, there's not anything on fire. We know that. I'm, I'm, I'm very tired. Just sitting around, and he's got a doll. And it's the doll we used in our uh, demonstration of Princess Garnet. How dare they write the princess's name on such a ragged doll? She's not 15, she's 16. I, I love that, just a whole year off. It's like... And we have another active time... Oh, we've got the girl who was left behind. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ruby is still in Alexandria. <laughs> She's at the bar in Alexandria. I don't know how she got to the bar in Alexandria. I don't quite remember that, but... Okay. And my little baby. I, I, I don't know this one. It should be here somewhere. Is Senna looking for the doll? Yeah, he's looking for the Garnet doll. How am I supposed to sleep now? How, this is this is hilarious actually, because he doesn't know that Steiner's got. It. I wonder if we could return it to him. Like now that we know that that's a thing, probably not. But you know, all right, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna get that. We're gonna get the wrist, we get the bronze gloves, the wrist, and there's stuff in here that we can get. We're gonna get that get an ether, and then we climb up the bed here, and we can get 116 gil. There was more gil in this bed than in Grandma's store. We're just going to keep coming back to Grandma's life savings. Alright, so let's talk to Vivi. Uh, thanks for helping. I don't mention I mean, Zidane seems to be a pretty good guy. Yeah, if it wasn't for Vivi's black magic, it would have been a lot harder because we didn't have the uh, the trance ability for the second fight. You got a lot of power for a little guy. Infusion because I called you little. Sedane so also kind of boosting confidence. To hell with looks, it's what's inside that counts. Yeah, don't worry about the princess. We'll we'll take care of it. Yeah, don't don't call me Mister. Just just call me Zidane. Okay. And what do we have elsewhere? Let's see. There is. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have made that promise. What's? Oh, we're gonna have a flashback. I forgot about that. We have a flashback of uh, Zidane meeting Garnet happened like it was just yesterday. Except for them, it was about an hour ago. For us, it was a couple of days ago, because, you know, different number of episodes. Anyway. Maybe fate brought us together. I can't explain it. Well, I mean, you are kind of a womanizer, Zidane. You do kind of like pretty girls. So... Let's let's not kid yourself about your your motives. All right, we should go look for. Her. Think about it. she's cute and she's in, yeah I love that she's cute and she's in trouble. Like the first thing is she's cute. And there's blank. Why do you look so serious? What are you what are you doing? I'm gonna take the knight and the black mage and we'll go find the princess. No, we know it's out there. Monsters. 
You always gotta play the hero. The boss is gonna kill you. Yeah, go go talk to the boss. So we can go talk to the boss, or we can look around and get some stuff, which is what we're gonna do. Uh, there's supposedly an ether somewhere. Oh, right there. And then there's treasure chest in. Uh, he fusses a little from time to time. It's not bad. Okay, can you let me in to see him? Or no? Okay, I guess they're not letting me in to see him. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here and get the rubber helm. I don't quite know what that does. And there's the boss. Uh, it took you long enough. I fell asleep, darn it. So you're leaving, huh? Yeah, pretty much. I promised Garnet and I'd kidnap her. I can't blame you, though. She's damn beautiful. I uh, hope you're ready, because I'm going to bust you up for breaking the rules. Alright, get your butt over to the cargo room. We've got more room, so we're going to get to fight Baku. That's that's great. But first, we're going to get this potion. What's uh, Zidane's HP at? Alright, we start at full. And, uh... Yeah. What is... What do we got from Baku? We, we, we're going to fight Baku is what's going to happen. That's... The, these, these are things. Let's, let's fight Baku, shall we? I ain't holding back. Alright, I believe he's got some stuff we can steal in this, but he is as strong as he was the first time we fought him. And we are just one level higher, so not that much. And we are lacking three other thieves to assist us. So, we want to be careful. But, I also want to get the items from him. Also, he does have the, the habit of tripping. So, we got a high potion. That's... I'm okay with that. Even if I can't... Like, using it for now is kind of ridiculous, but, you know, having it is nice. And... 24 points of damage. Couldn't steal anything. I know he's got one other thing. I think it is a leather wrist. I'm pretty sure it's a leather wrist. It's not on this guide. Because, again, guides are... You know, a little ass backwards as far as this is concerned. So, uh, he's going to hit me a couple more times is what's going to happen. I'll let him hit me one more time and then uh, I'm going to need to use an item this round. That's the downside is, you know, you've got to use items because I don't have a healer. So, let's... Uh, and thankfully he screwed that up but it only takes like three hits to kill him so once we get the uh, the second item we should be fine but I just don't want to get that second item and you can just keep tripping that's fine just keep doing that until I get everything that you've got because I know you still have something because it's the the message will change if you've stolen everything from an enemy it'll say nothing to steal but if you say can't steal anything that means your steals attempt failed because it, it treats it like an attack versus defense if your attack is higher than the defense the steal is successful and then it rolls a, a kind of uh, a random number generator to find out what you steal if anything uh, but apparently my attack is lower than his defense in terms of theft versus theft so um, I'll s try stealing again I, come on, I want what you got. I know you've got something. This is getting ridiculous. Because I know what I can steal from you. I can't steal... I mean, I can probably get it elsewhere, but... And we'll use another high potion. Or another potion, rather. And get our HP back. And then we'll steal again. I'm just going to steal from you. We, we can sit here all day long. Except we can. And this is one of the reasons why I, I kind of hate this game. <laughs> I've, I've made, mentioned it before. I hate this game and I love this game. Alright. Um, like I said, I have another save file that I have everything from him. I don't know what the other steal is. But... Uh, yeah. This is... 
This is so thrilling to watch, isn't it? Ah. Oh. This is why a lot of people play this game on an emulator, and why I'm kind of wondering why I'm not playing it on an emulator. Oh, god damn it. Alright, yeah, um... We'll just kill him, and we'll load up the other save. That's, that's what'll happen. So... Yeah. Uh, if I survive, I may not survive this, because he may get another attack on me and get a critical hit and kill me. So, that also could be... Here's hoping he trips. Oh, no, but not enough to kill me, but... Like, this... This is the problem with this game, is that they, they make stealing such a, a, a required mechanic that, you know, it becomes kind of a hassle when you actually want to try to get something accomplished. Like, I could have been done with this fight almost five minutes ago if I did not have to try to steal from him. So, like I said, I'll, I'll just load up the other... We'll get to the point where the other save is, and we'll... I'll find out what it is that I can steal from him. I'm pretty sure it's just another leather wrist. Either that or some sort of, uh... I think it's some sort of arm armor for uh, heavy armor users like uh, Steiner. So... I'll be damned. Bravo, kid. Go find your princess. Alright, we're gonna keep finding... We're gonna... This will be a slightly longer episode so I can get to the next, uh save point, uh, in which we want to come in here, we're going to talk to Steiner. Yeah, you're too old to be playing with the doll. So, hey, we found the doll. I'm overwhelmed with concern for the princess. Uh, yeah, this kind of is our fault, but kind of not, because she was just going to run away anyway. So... Yeah, but we're going to go look for her, so if you promise to be good, you can come with us. I'm Adelbert Steiner. Engelbert wha slapped you back. Engelbert Humpty Dick. Yeah, I love how Zidane's harping on him for the uh, the armor, mostly because the Knights of Pluto were really looked down on in Alexandria, because an all-female military, so... I won't hesitate to kill you. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm only going with you to rescue the princess. Yeah, whatever. We should seek Master Vivi's help. Why are you calling him Master? A black ma mage has unimaginable powers. I want to get him involved if I don't have to. Yeah, let's go talk to Vivi. And we're actually going to go back inside and get that treasure chest. Because there's another ether. I don't know why it automatically makes us walk out. Alright, let's go talk to Vivi. And... Get him on our side. And then we will leave, is the plan. So, we're gonna go look for the princess. That's great, be careful. I'll see you guys when you get back. Nope, nope, you're coming with us. Your magic was highly effective against that monster. I love how Steiner's like, I hold your power in greater esteem. You know, as a knight, he would have more experience with black mages than, than Zidane probably would have, so... You're a black mage for crying out loud. Show us what you got. Uh, okay. I will try my best. And Master Vivi. I want to try an experiment. Alright, so what Steiner is actually proposing is the magic sword technique, which is something that you can do if you have Vivi and Steiner in your party. Uh, Vivi will basically cast a spell on Steiner's sword, kind of like a uh, Chrono's double tax, ice sword, fire sword, etc. Uh, I never found them to be particularly useful, considering, you know, it... it takes up two turns, and really doesn't do too much more damage than what uh, Vivi can do on his own. So, And Zidane's giving Blank a hard time, and it's like, oh, you're just jealous because I'm going to get the girl. 
You're always thinking about me, but I won't need a love potion. Yeah, you probably will, Zidane. So, Blank is giving us some more of the medicine so that if we get uh, poisoned, uh, we should be fine. And he tells us about setting abilities, which I've already gone over, so we don't really need to worry about that. But we will need to set everyone else's abilities. And we're going to go back, and we're going to get that treasure chest next to blank, and then we're going to save it, and that'll be the end of this episode. Uh, except I'm not going to save it, I'm just going to load up uh, my save file that I've already done. Because, yeah, that's, that's a thing. Because I don't want to waste all the potions I wasted on the second Baku fight. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next installment, uh, where we're going to go rescue the princess. Till then, later everyone.